Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about soldering. I'm going to try to show you how to do some soldering correctly and also heat shrinking. I'll be using a solder iron tool. I like using this one because it stays hot. I can adjust temperature as opposed to using a solder gun. I just prefer using this. It works nicer for me. This is my wire strippers that I use to strip my wires. It's a matco tool. Had it for a couple years. They have a couple different designs, but I like this design a little bit better. This tool here, I use to cut my wires and then also I use it to do my crimping whenever I'm going to do crimping. We're not going to do any crimping this time around, but this is the area that I do my crimping with and it works very awesome. Today, after we solder, we're going to heat shrink our connections, make it waterproof. This is my heat gun that I use to shrink my heat shrink tubing by Wagner. And this is the solder that I use. I use the 0 0.062 to thin my tip because it's bigger, but I really like using the 0 0.015, the smaller one here, to actually do my soldering. It melts easier and it looks nicer when it's done. We're going to be extending the wiring harness on some transmission range switches. One is good, one is bad, but the good one came with a shorter harness. So perfect example of what we're going to be doing. So what I do is the wire colors are the same with both. So I stagger my cuts so that I can have a cleaner, nicer look when everything's all back together instead of cutting it straight across. All of them will be bundled up in the same spot. So I match my wire colors up. Right now I have the, the pink. So what I do is I cut it a little bit higher than the other. And then the next color I cut it a little bit lower, like an inch lower. And then the next color I match it up, cut it a little like an inch lower. So they're all staggered. Let me show you what I'm looking at. You can see that they're all different lengths. So therefore, when I make the connection points, they won't be laying on top of each other. They'll be laying pretty much flat. And when you line them back up, you see they line up pretty nice. So now I use my wire strippers, put it in my tool, maybe about a half an inch. And then I squeeze the trigger and it strips it. Just pull the insulation off. See how to slide it in there. Strip it, pull the insulation. It's as simple as that. Works pretty great. Now I'm cutting my heat shrink tubing that I'm going to be using. I cut it maybe about an inch, about an inch long. Then I'm going to slide my heat shrink tubing that I've cut down onto the wire before I start twisting or soldering. Because if you solder it together, you can't get the heat shrink tubing on after that. So you got to put the heat shrink tubing on first. Try to get the heat shrink tubing as far away from the solder joint as possible or when you're soldering, it'll shrink the tubing. Now I'm twisting my wires together. I make a physical connection by twisting my wires together, then I solder it. So I have my own personal technique, kind of make a little cross like that, then I hold it right there, and then I twist my left hand counterclockwise, and my right hand clockwise or vice versa. And you see, it makes a very nice, strong, neat looking joint. I like a good joint. Okay. I do it again with this gray wire. Twist it. Twist it. Make sure no loose ends, nothing sticking out, nothing's pointy sticking out. Everything is flush and smooth. You can see I have my heat shrink tubing already on the wire. Okay, when I'm about to start, I usually scrape any crud that might be on my tip. Then I use my larger solder iron and I thin my tip. You thin your tip every time before you start. It um, helps to preserve the life of your tip and also helps to transfer the heat into the wire very easily and quickly so you can um, solder nicely. So you see I'm supporting the wire with my hot solder iron tip on the bottom of the joint and I'm just running my solder over top of it. The aim of the game is to let the wire, heat the wire up so that it melts the solder. You don't want to melt the solder with the solder iron. You want to heat the wire up and let the wire melt the solder. So when you do that, it draws all the solder into the joint to make a wonderful connection. Almost perfect. I didn't do any time lapse on this part right here because it sometimes it's a little bit tricky. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's slow. But you have to keep moving around. So you see I'm moving my solder around. I'm, I'm touching it on the solder iron itself to get the solder hot. Then I'm moving it, touching it onto the wire, see if it's ready. 
then I'll put it back between the solder iron and the wire to get it kind of molten then I touch it back onto the wire and I keep going back and forth something you just have to be patient and then eventually it'll get hot enough and then it'll start flowing using the smaller wire is a little bit tedious because it, it melts so quickly but it makes for a nicer more professional looking joint as you can see right there really nice it flows it right in you see it you want to get it nice and shiny and smooth like that about that point is when you know you had enough solder on there that's great right there perfect tin your tip see i'm supporting the wire by my solder iron tip therefore i'm making the best connection possible to transfer heat from the solder iron tip into my wire and i just keep working my solder my solder wire back and forth back and forth see it's starting to melt right there now i just keep walking up and down back and forth on that joint with my solder wire until it flows all the way in okay now we're ready to heat shrink because all my joints are soldered up nicely so what you do now is You're going to slide the heat shrink tubing over your connection making sure that try to get it as much in the center try to center it as best as possible over your solder joint you turn your your heat gun on and you're just going to pass it back and forth up and down the heat shrink tubing pass it back and forth and it'll just shrink thus the term heat shrink tubing and there you go you have your soldered joint. So all you have to do now, put it in a wire harness, loom, some electrical tape, and you'll be golden. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Take it easy.